All right, so I'm a little late to the boat for this one, but uh, finally um, I sat down and watched the Fraser Rejuvenation series, which is now in its second season, only a couple episodes. And um, I, I watched the original 11, 11 seasons uh, prior to this. Um, and it's still funny. Um, initially, like a long time ago, like I didn't get into the show, but over time I did. And um, as far as the old show goes, it's hilarious. And uh, uh, the characters are all good. And obviously there there's some that uh, aren't in this new rejuvenation. It's kind of like the Will and Grace um rejuvenation series that was after the original run um which i think fraser is going to probably follow the same suit it'll probably be a couple of seasons to be done um so having said that um this new series is uh got some uh, new characters uh and then sort of has return uh, returning characters and what i mean by that i'll get to in a minute First of all, Kelsey Grammer is Frasier coming back from uh, being off fair, uh, no pun intended, uh, from the uh, talk show that the character was doing. Um, is it, still good. Uh, he still has the same characterization that he always has and so forth. And he's now dealing with having to reconnect with his son, Freddy. Uh, so Freddy from the original run uh, was here and there in, in the uh, episodes, but there wasn't a main cast member. Well, in this version, he is played obviously by a different actor and the dynamic between Frazier and Freddie, the, uh, is, is there's some, some humility humanity there where um, it's kind of like they're rebuilding kind of what was lost there in the time between the end of the first series to this one. Um, so I, I really like that. I think um, both actors bounce off each other really well. There's kind of the, the father um, attitude there. Um, you know, uh, they do mention Frazier's father. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name offhand, but um, obviously that actor is no longer among us, and um, I believe that if he was, he would be in the show. But they do a good job of kind of explaining that and how the uh, season kicks off, uh, the first season anyway. And um, so uh, they do mention uh, Daphne and Niles. Um, they are not in this new series. Um, I don't think they will be because they have gone on to say that they don't want to come back. Who knows? I mean, maybe by season three they might change their mind. Who knows? But we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but they do have Frazier's wife, Lilith, who makes a return, uh, cameo briefly, and Roz. Uh, so Roz, I believe, um, she only comes in at the final episode of season one. And then for, I haven't watched season two yet. Uh, there are three episodes in. Um, but uh, I believe that uh, she's kind of a reoccurring character, which is cool. They, they got that character back. So it's nice when uh, you have returning characters and uh, returning actors to play the same characters. It's kind of like Night Court. Uh, a little harder there since like the sort of reboot, not reboot, but um, after series of Night Court, they obviously could only get so many characters back because most of them are gone. Uh, so, anyway. Moving on. Uh, so, the new characters are Frasier's old buddy from school and the dean or director of the current school um and then there is freddy's uh sort of girlfriend um and i like 
all of them because they all kind of bring different things to the table um introduced well enough when they are uh fraser's buddy is basically like a doesn't like to work type of teacher and likes to drink that typical character there um you have the i'm just going to call her the dean um she's trying to lure Fraser into teaching for or running some things at the school there for clicks um she actually is the actress that was in castle i believe she played a chief or something if uh, it's been a while since i've watched castle so just for a little nugget there um, there is Daphne and Niles' son, who is played by an actor here. Um, he definitely brings that nihilism that Niles had in the original run. Um, you can tell right away he, they add a little bit more slapstickle stuff with him, uh, which is fine. Um, he's probably my least favorite from the new characters. But he's he's still okay. I'm just saying if I had to pick, like, he's my least favorite. Um, and then you have uh, Freddy's girl, non-girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, she's really good. Um, she brings, like, a, you know, that side of it into there. Try not to spoil too much here. Um, so they all, they all do good. They're all, all introduced fine and, and stuff. I, I think my favorite characters from the new bunch, hmm, I'd have to say it's a tie between Frazier's buddy and Freddy, I think, for me. Um, just in their, their characterization, their characteristics. Um, the humor is there. Um, it, it actually from uh, other than Will and Grace, I think that Frasier revisiting series is better than that 90s show. And I just find that the 90s show, uh, some of the, some of the char new characters, I just don't, they're too hammy, I guess, for me, for my taste. I don't know. Like, they try well enough and all, but um, I just find that they're, they're trying to, I don't know, be like characters from that 70s show, if that makes any sense. And in here, and in Will and Grace uh, revisiting series, they bring their own characterizations there. They're not, doesn't feel like they're trying to force or recapture the original run, they just go with it, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, overall, it's a funny show. Um, I, I'm impressed by it. it. It follows the same sort of formulaic sort of humor there, um, but adds, still adds the um, messages in there, like old sitcoms used to have about things like relationships between father and son and uh connections and so forth like that um so uh we'll see like season two I have, as i said i haven't watched yet there's only a couple episodes in i'm guessing this series will go three seasons maybe four but i think that'll be its run um which is fine um but yeah, check it out on uh, Paramount Plus, as you obviously see there in the picture. Um, if you liked the original run of Frasier, you'll probably like the, this new revisit. If you didn't like Frasier before, this probably won't change your mind. Uh, but, you know, um, yes, uh, it is good, and uh, I'll keep watching it.